si ulivyo Viumba vyo Anawasikia milima I want to report to you up to now Aisha Isha Sijui kama hii serikali ya Ruto inangojea watu wengine wakufe huko ni wakuje We demand that that NZU river be completed so that our people have no issues of wafuke mto waende nyumbani So we must smoke this government out of their comfort zone So I can tell you there is a lot of difference your Excellency, while you are away, while you are advising, Narafiki Amweshibua Kalonzo Musioka, our next president, Tumebata Shida San. Ata pale mbunge, tyranny of numbers, ya wongo. Your Excellency, you are missed. Na ukatabiri ya kwamba, raisi wa sita wa njamuhuri ya Kenya, ameketi yapa. Lakini, mwenye alitambiri, saidi. Alikuwa uru kenyata. Alitambiri na akatuonya. Akatuambia tutanjuta. Tumenjuta ama tunja juta. Punda imechoka. Punda imechoka ama inja choka. Party leader on the issue of the cost of living. Garama ya maisha kwa watu wa mwingi. Watu wa kitui, watu wa Kenya, garama ya maisha iko juu sana. Na watu ilo wamesema, pati lida, ni kwamba if the issue of the cost of living is not addressed by that committee, then wale ambao unuakilisha sisi wa azimio, please don't sign that document. Wachana na ayikai. Kwa hiyo mwishimia, Kalonzo hapana jali hiyo, shikana na upanya, shikana na yujin, shikana na baba, shikana na uru kinyata, hii kiti ni tutayerudisha 2027. Kwa sababu jama, alitumia tu uongo, akadanganya watu. Na mwesipia uru kinyata, alituambia msifate uongo. Sisi tukafata uongo. Mimi leo, kwa niyaba ya wakenya wote, Ambao walidanganyo na Naruto, mimi kwa nyaba ya wakenya, mimi naomba musamaa Uhuru Kinyata. President Uhuru Kinyata, ulituambia siku moja, watu watakula nyama na tutameza mate. Sasa, tumekatazo wata kumeza mate. Kweli, tunavili yale yote ovitabili, tunayaona, tumeomia the hustle is real. Maisha imekuwa ngumu. Mafta ndiyo drive. Mafta ndiyo drive economy. Na mafta, mafta ikipanda kila kitu inafanya nini? Inapanda. Maisha imekuwa ngumu. Sisi kama sisi, tu, kama tunasikia maisha ikiwa ngumu na ule hasla wachini. Papi, you cannot lead the country through lies. Hiyo ndiyo mambo tumeanza kuona. Ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba sababu ya mafuta kupanda Kenya. 
sio sababu ya ile mambo wanatuambia ati Israel na Palestina hapana sababu ya ushuru kupanda mafuta kupanda ni wenzetu kupandisha ushuru shida zile 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 shida nyingi mnapata hapa ni shida hizo hizo ambazo sisi tunapata kule lakini wakasema waka ah mheshimiwa huru kinyata alituambia lakini tumerufuka na tumerufuka ah waje tukoje tuone kama amerufuka mimi jumatano tunakutana na ndugu hapa anasema Eugene Wamalo we are given clear instructions kama hakuna kupunguza gharama ya maisha mshiweke shahidi nataka nijue kama mnakubaliana na watu wa western kwa mambo haya na sio kulazimisha yote ni haki hapa mimi nataka ni muulize ambaye ana ushika. Mkisema G to G. Alikuja waziri wa Kawi Energy, akaja waziri wa Fedha, wakatuambia kwamba wamezungumza na Waarabu. Ile inaitwa government to government. Lakini hapo hawaelezi katikati makampuni matatu haya ya yako na uhusiano gani? Ni nani amechochoa commission ipi? kiasi gani and this is where the problem is all of that gets translated your commission in a court translated to extra sense na nini na nini and then the fuel pump ile 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 bay ya pump ya lita moja ya mafuta hapa sheo mwingi inakuwa affected na hiyo ki affect ikiwa affected kwenda bundi kwenda saiguru kwenda kitui gharama inaenda juu so lazima tuambiane ukweli na ukweli ni kwamba kuna hali ya ufisadi. Director of Criminal Investigation kama ni muhusika na wale ambao wanahusika in this two government in place which believes in transparency including our international partners. You should not cover any corruption in this country. Because that is where the problem is. Tutamuuliza waziri wa hela atarudi tena Jumatano atakuja waziri wa fedha we hope you come with clarity atuna ni ambaya ni ni moja mwanaichi angalao apate chakula na apeleke mtoto wake shuleni therefore mheshimiwa Eugene you know we are talking about audit of the 2022 election and we have actually on that one tuwashukuru wenzetu hawa wamekubali bora tutujisi tutafuta one audit firm na wao watafute audit firm nyingine before we talk about 2027 let us close this matter na nimesikiza lakini nimeshukuru kuona vile viongozi wamekaa pamoja kwa sababu mimi sifichi kusema ya kwamba pale ambapo mimi nasimamia mimi naambia nga watu mimi ni mwana azimio na, na, na hapo mimi niko mimi sio mtapeli wa kuruka huku na kuruka huku sijui hadi leo iko hivi leo iko hivi mimi nikitoa msimamo wangu bila kana msimamo wangu kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo tulifundishwa na wale wazee ambao walitufundisha siasa kuwa mtu ambaye anaweza kuminika leo na kesho sio mtu wa kuyumba yumba namna hii namna hii namna hii hiyo sisi hatuko hapo we are where we are to stay and we are proud of it and we are hopeful of a bright future for bahali tu tumetishwa tumeambiwa nini tumeambiwa nini tumeambiwa sijui nini kila saa mtu akishindwa njia ya kufanya kitu yake oh sijui serikali iliyopita sasa kesho yake mtasema hata watoto wakikataa ama mama akikataa kuzaa oh unajua uhuru wala mimi sijui lakini tume tumezoea tu tunayasikia inaingia na inapita na tunaendelea kama ni namna gani tangu ni kuwaombea amani umoja na tuje sasa tufanye kazi ile ambayo imenileta hiyo ndiyo hamu yangu kubwa sana Hello. Naomba tafadhali tunaingia kwa Harambe. In the next 20 minutes we should be out of. Chairman wa building committee 
na bibi yake pamoja na familia yake wamesindikisha pesa ya kanisa na shilingi